Tracy. Uh, Tyler Sagan was talking yesterday that uh, he, he felt his game was good even before he got his stylish new haircut. Um, just <laughs> has that been the case? And is this just, you know, yeah. it's, it's finally going in for him? Yeah, I've liked, I've liked Seggy's game all year. Um, I, think, I think he's, uh, he's done a really good job for us this year. I think that line has been excellent for most of the year. Like any line, you have some bumps in the road and some highs and lows as the season goes. But when you look at the big picture and the, and the body of work uh, over the entire season, uh, I think uh, he's been excellent and that line's been excellent. Uh, Pete, we, we talk in the playoffs about certain games being more comfortable for one team's style over another, and obviously the Avs had their chances in the first two periods, but a, you know, a 2-1 game until the empty netters, the poise that your team showed yeah. in the third, that's a comfort zone for you guys? That's the playoff game you want? Yeah, I think I think our group took it personally when everyone questioned whether we could hold a lead <laughs> in the third. Uh, you know, and, and, and you know... Um, it was warranted with how the first two games went, but we knew we were better than that. We, we've been really good in those situations all year. Been great on the road all year. You know, I think we just felt comfortable tonight. I thought we were, the details of our game tonight were outstanding. Hey, Pete. Uh, how good was Lo, or, uh, Jake, obviously, in, in the whole game, but yeah. in the first, whatever, Yeah, the first period. Minutes. The first period, Jake and our penalty killers allow us to get through the first. I mean, that, that's really uh, the reality of the game, you know, and, and, and then we got going and, and started to play. And it wasn't that we weren't playing in the first, it just you're shorthanded three times uh, and then a four-on-four four situation, that, that plays into their hands. And uh, I thought our PK and, and Jake really gave us a chance to survive that. And then I thought from then on we were really good. Hey, 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 Pete, between the way Jake performed, the different goal scorers you have, what you did in shorthanded situations, how close to perfect would you say this performance is? Or is it still a long way away? Because it seems like blueprint-wise, you kind of checked a lot of boxes, including yeah. a big one being you kept the lead, and even when they scored, you still found a way to score and never let up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think a, a coach has ever seen a perfect game, but uh, I'll tell you, Ryan, that's as, that's as, that's as close to a, a, a perfect road game as you can play, in my mind, coming in in this situation. You, you, we knew they were going to come out guns blazing in the, in the first period. You knew their home record. You know, they had challenged their best players, their coach had mm -hmm. after last game. So, you know, we, we knew we were going to get – uh, a lot thrown at us there early in that game, and uh, I just our, our composure throughout the night I thought was outstanding. In game one, on the on the power play for the Avs, Kale McCarr had a lot of opportunities. Even his goal, where he was able to get those shots in from the point, it seemed like yeah. today you guys not only limited those shots, you seemed like you made it nearly impossible for them to get that puck through. Yeah, what's changed these last from game one to these last couple yeah. to, to limit that? Well, I think we've made some adjustments. Um, you know, I, I don't want to get into them, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure uh, you know they'll look look and see what they are. But we, we made some adjustments after game one, and we also got a huge commitment tonight, blocking shots from everybody. You know, everyone took a turn. We, we got some big blocks at key times, uh, which is always important against a team like that. Hey, Pete, just. Thoughts from you on Logan's game overall tonight and how he's earned your trust to be out in situations like he was yeah. at the end of the game? Yeah, you know what? He's, uh, he's really, you know, you talk about deadline acquisitions. We went out and got Tana, but we also added Logan. And, uh, you know, it, it was like going out and, and, and getting a, a really good NHL player. I mean, we didn't know that. He was, he was a, a rookie, and we, we hoped that it would translate. But you never know until you jump in. And, and then you never know, you know when the moment might be too big for a young player. But he, he's handled everything we've thrown at him and excelled. He's made every line he's played on better. Um, and, and you know, never mind the scoring, his, his defensive details and you know, his, his, uh, his, uh, his awareness uh, and responsibility on the ice and when he's got the puck is, is way beyond his ears. Like Wyatt Johnson's. Pete, uh, Jeff in the back. Uh, oh, you got me. 
Yeah, got you. Okay. Hey, uh, two questions. Uh, going back to Jake in the first period, you know, when it's backs against the wall time, what do you see from him in those moments? Yeah. Well, I think I said it. I've said it last year in the playoffs. I said it this year in the playoffs. He has the ability to raise his game at the most important times. I thought uh, tonight when it was most hectic, he was he was the calmest player on the ice for us, which is what you need your goaltender to be, you know, to, to give you that calming influence. And I think that's what he does for us when he's playing the way he is right now. And knowing what Colorado can do offensively to have not have had to play from behind so far in this yeah. series, what does that do for yourself? Yeah, it, you know, it, really important. I mean, the first goal is, is important in every game and every series. Um, but I think we've earned them too. You know, I think, I think we've come out and, uh, you know, we, we did a lot of good things. And I actually thought, you know, there was, there was some moments there in the second we could have extended the lead. You know, we had some, some quality looks. I thought their goaltender made a couple saves on some good looks that, uh, you know, we could have extended at different points. Leo? Yeah. Hey, Pete. Back to Logan. What does that say about him that he can go 21 games without scoring a goal yeah. as a rookie, be moved up to the top line, still be in the lineup through all yeah. of this? Just what does that say about his contributions to your group? Well, I was talking to him this morning about it. He said, he, you know, he said it's by far the longest he's ever gone any any time in hockey without a goal. And uh, I, I felt he was going to get one tonight. He scored in here during the regular season, one of his regular season goals, maybe in his second NHL game. So uh, I just, it was just a matter of time with the way he was playing. But you know, I have had a couple conversations with him during this uh, slump, scoring slump, and just reminded him that. You know the 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 we don't need the scoring. You know we we have guys that can that we we get enough scoring. You know what he's bringing us all the intangibles, the energy, the relentless puck pursuit, the battles. Um, you know the setting up other guys, making plays. You know that that stuff alone has has earned him the opportunities he's got. Okay, thank you.